temperature and relative humidity play a large role in the shed environment and can affect litter conditions. Keeping the relative humidity between 50 and 60% is ideal for bird comfort and will help to reduce moisture buildup in the litter. Air contains water vapour. Relative humidity tells you how much water is in the air relative to the maximum amount of water it can hold at the same temperature. At 40% relative humidity, the air is holding 40% of the amount of water it can before it's full. At 100% relative humidity, the air is completely saturated and can't hold any more water. Air absorbs water from many sources inside the shed. From moist air entering the shed. Water vapour from birds' breath. Evaporation from drinkers, damp litter surfaces, fresh excreta and evaporative cooling. Or water soaking up through the floor. About 7,000 litres of water is added to a typical size shed every day. The amount of water that air can hold increases as temperature increases, so warm air can hold more water than cold air. When the temperature drops, the water holding capacity of the air is reduced. The air has less space available for water, so the relative humidity rises. As a general rule, if temperature rises by 10 degrees Celsius, relative humidity will halve. And if temperature drops by 10 degrees Celsius, relative humidity will double. Once relative humidity reaches 100%, the water will condense and droplets will form. Condensation may form on surfaces when warm air and colder surfaces come into contact like how a glass of iced water forms water droplets on the glass surface on a hot day. This is because the warm air cools down when it comes in contact with the cool glass and can no longer hold the same amount of water. The same thing happens in the shed when there isn't enough insulation and when there are cool drafts and leakage points around doors, side curtains, fans and vents. Condensation may also occur in the litter when warm, moist air comes into contact with cooler litter. Condensation is more likely to happen at night or in the early hours of the morning when the cold air outside cools the shed's outer surfaces or enters the shed as cold drafts or in drinking water. The most effective way to reduce condensation is to heat anything cold as it enters the shed. This may be by insulating all surfaces, sealing any leakage points, warming drinking water as it enters the shed, and only letting air enter through inlet vents when it's heated or mixed with warm air. Ventilation is the most practical way to lower humidity as it removes excess moisture from the shed. There are times, however, when ventilation can be the cause of wet litter. Too much ventilation or using cool pads can bring in too much cold air, resulting in higher relative humidity and will bring in too much moisture when the outside humidity is high. Not enough ventilation will keep the moisture inside the shed and doesn't allow it to be evaporated from the litter. Relative humidity in the shed will increase, which will increase the risk of condensation. If there isn't enough static pressure and inlet vents open too much, cold air enters the shed and will drop onto the floor, wetting the litter, instead of mixing with warm air in the shed apex. Every poultry shed is different. Ventilation, temperature, static pressure, shed leakage, insulation and external weather conditions all play a role in keeping the relative humidity and litter conditions ideal.